This video will cover the topic, factoring out a binomial from a polynomial, greatest common factor factoring basic. This is similar to the last lecture of factoring out monomials from a polynomial. For this lecture, we'll be using the distributive property. Since the distributive property involves multiplying one integer into a set of two or more integers enclosed in the parentheses, the property allows us to take out a common factor between two integers. An example of this would be AC minus BC. Since both terms contain a C in them, we can factor out the C, which gets us C times A minus B. The same property can be used when factoring out binomials from polynomials. If we look at our example problem, 2x times x plus 8 minus 5 times x plus 8. In this problem, we need to factor out the x plus 8 and then rewrite the equation. We can achieve this by using the distributive property, except we substitute x plus 8 for c. Once the x plus 8 is factored out, we get x plus 8, and then we get 2x from right here minus 5 from right there. And that is our answer. What would happen if there is not a coefficient or binomial in front of the polynomial? Great question. If there is no binomial present in front of the polynomial, then the integer left will just be 1. For example, if we look at the problem 4x times 5x minus 3 minus 5x minus 3, we factor out 5x minus 3 from the polynomial using the distributive property, we would get... Oh, we would first get 5x minus 3. And since there is no binomial in front of the second term in the polynomial, then we would get 4x minus 1. So our final answer would be 5x minus 3 times 4x minus 1. Correct. Now that we have done a few example problems, would you like to try and solve the problem? 2y squared times y plus 8 plus 3 times y plus 8. Sure. Using the distributive property, we can see that both parts of the polynomial share the binomial y plus 8. Once we factor out the y plus 8, we are left with 2y squared plus 3, and then we multiply that by y plus 8, since that's what we factored out. 